Well, the pandemic has shut down most live performances, as you know, and for comedian Michael Yo, it almost shut him down for good. He contracted COVID in March of last year, spent eight days in ICU and almost died. But he did recover and he is back. You can see and hear Michael Yo pretty much everywhere. Sirius Satellite Radio, Network TV, he's on with Wendy Williams on his Morning Yo podcast. And now, yes, you can see him live again and in person this weekend for four shows on stage at the Funny Bone at Westport Plaza. Michael, yo, man, are we yes. happy to see you. How are you? Man, I'm happy to see myself. Let me tell you. <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh, what a story. You were literally on the brink of death having spent time in ICU. You said it changed your perspective as a comic and as a husband and as a dad. How so? Well, you know, when you go into the hospital and then they tell you, you know, you have, it's gonna take two days to find out if you're gonna live or die. It really hits you hard and you have time to think about it. And it, it just, coming out of the hospital, I've always been a good person, but you even take it to the next level. Cause the scariest thing is being in the hospital and my daughter was four months and my son was three. Oh. You just, they'll never know how much you really love them if you were to die in that hospital. And it's, it's changed my whole perspective on life, on my comedy. You know, now I have this huge joke about being in a hospital. Oh yeah, that's so funny, Michael, yeah. Sure. No, no, but it, actually it is really funny. Like last night I did it, the shows were, uh, the show last night was awesome, but I did it and people are laughing the whole time. And it's a story about you dying. So when you can take tragedy and make it funny, like, for myself, it's it, it, it's really like, I, I can't wait for people to see all my new material. So I'm excited. Like, I'm just excited to be alive. I'm Honestly. excited to be on this show. So I, I'm <laughs> just, I just want to spread the love. And you tweeted about 12 hours ago, I just want to live like a Drake song. What does that mean? Oh my goodness. You know, Drake is this rapper and he talks about all this, like, it's almost like lifestyles of the rich and famous. And I go, you know what? I, I just want one day, just one day I want to live like a Drake video, you know, just one day with my family, but make it more family, a family yeah. version. Of it. Yeah. Not the single ladies running around, but more of a family version, you know? Yeah. And to be honest with you, all my kid wants to do is go to Disney. Right. That's all we want to do close, eventually. Man. So. Getting close. And we know the comedy so world has had to pivot to virtual shows, drive in comedy shows, but you're getting on stage for real. Your shows this weekend at, um, and the, you said they're going to be COVID related comedy. Now, People are paying you to make them laugh. You think this is going to oh, yeah. work? Well, <laughs> well, well, it's only one joke about COVID. The rest is just, we're just going to have, it's going to be a blast. It's going to be fun. I mean, it's socially distanced. It, it's not a heavy show. It's really, it's going to be a light, funny show. My friend Tone Bell, who's from this area, is going to be opening it up. And I got to just say, Matt from The Funny Bone is really giving us artists uh, a platform and really Wonderful. wants to bring the laughs back to St. Louis. So that's what it's all about. And we just want to make you laugh to forget, to forget what's going on in the outside wow. world. Come on out and just have fun with us. Just and have I, fun. I, I do want to ask you, Michael, um, are you good now? Do you have any after effects? And secondly, you're, you're multi-ethnic. And I know that yes. minorities are afraid to get the vaccine. Going what you went through in the past year and recovering, thankfully, what do you have to tell people who might have doubts? Well, it took me nine months to fully get to 100%. You know, I had a bad, I had a really bad. And my doctor said, I still had the antibodies, but I'm fully vaccinated because I'm telling you, you know, a lot of people recover easily from it. But if you're one of those people that have to struggle, get the vaccine. You know, it, it, for me, look, I have the antibodies and I still got it because I was coming up on a year when I had it, less than 100 people died from it. And they didn't know what they were doing. Now, you know, we, little, we know a little bit more, but, you know, it's all about family. You don't want to be in that hospital alone, dying. And the pain you feel, I can't even put words to it. So, mm -hmm. you know, I encourage, you know, I'm black and Asian. I encourage all ethnicities to get the vaccine because I went through it. And trust me, you never want to go through that pain. Wow, what never. a story. Well, so, we are so yeah. happy to see you again. Next time we see you in person again, big hugs all around. And uh, yes. yes, we'll see you on stage. Four shows this weekend at the Funny Bone Westport. And if you want to go see Michael, he is back, man. We love it. Uh, there's the website. There's the information. And we'll have it all on our website as well, fox2now.com. Michael, be well. We'll see you soon.